Okay, thank you. Um, so, I think I've kind of made it clear tonight in terms of the Greens commitment that's been announced, I should mention, um, Sam Gibbons MP is our Green spokesperson and so he's been announcing all our transport policy, sorry, spokesperson for transport. So a clear commitment to Melbourne Metro 2, specifically including extending the train to alert, providing high capacity signalling and extra services on the murder train line and upgrading and extending to number 6 train. So obviously the Greens are always supporters in wanting to see investment in public transport over mega toll road projects. But we are aware that there does need to be investment in roads and we aren't aware of the needs of suburban, regional and remote road issues. Because of the sprawl, what we have are roads that were once single lane country roads now supporting new housing developments and funneling traffic onto a freeway, which is, you know, quite a few of you have talked about the frustration with that and how they just simply not capable of coping with increased traffic loads. So, you know, we do know that these are issues. I just want to change tack a little bit and talk about economic credentials. A lot of people say to candidates, well, you're promising this and you're promising that, how will you pay for it? So I'll answer that. The Greens were instrumental in setting up the, um, or seeing the creation of the Victorian Parliamentary Budget Office, the Parliamentary Budget Office, the PBO. This office is tasked with preparing independent election policy costings at the request of parliamentary leaders. Our parliamentary leader is Samantha Ratner. So when any candidate or politician makes a promise of spending, ask them, has it been costed by the PBO? You can search for the PBO. Um, right now, it only has two election costings on it. And both of them, both of them have been submitted by the Greens. So have a look at that. Now, we have submitted all our policies as they're announced, but it does take the PBO a little bit of time to process them. So I really do think that the old stereotypes of the Greens are no longer applicable. The Greens are good economic managers, and as part of the Greens MP team, after the next election, when I'm elected to Northern Victoria, I believe that I can really provide further knowledge in Parliament about economics, the state taxation system, the capacity of governments to operate healthy economies whilst in deficit, then this need to be in surplus, you know, always being seen as an important thing or a positive thing is, is quite misleading. And also utilise times of low interest rates to make significant infrastructure investment. We have that opportunity now with low interest rates to actually do the investment that is actually needed here. Now, um, we don't have a Yang Yang candidate today, but it might be as early as tomorrow that our Yang Yang candidate is announced. So um, if you can, uh, there's these flyers, um, I've got them up here um, just outside the door. If you can grab one of these, jump onto my Facebook and you will see um, as soon as the um, Yang Yang candidate is announced, in fact I will be announcing the candidate, you'll see that on my Facebook page. Uh, thanks for your time tonight, I've really enjoyed being here. Thank you.